All right, covering another Irish beer. Summer's coming. You might want to try some uh, other beers. Uh, quick note, just know that uh, the Irish are a very tough group. They've come a long way. When they first settled on the mainland, they were actually always kidnapped and raided and, and pillaged and stolen for slavery. And yes, there were Irish slaves in America and they were actually the cheaper slaves. And even once they gained their freedom, uh, they weren't apply, they didn't want them to apply to jobs. They didn't want them in a bar. I would say like no dogs and no Irish. So they put them on the very bottom every time. So just know that there are other groups that understand and have gone through it that are rising up and that we're doing better now. And honestly, as much as it seems like we're not, it's economy's doing a lot better. Uh, people have more opportunity and there's these great breweries that have been around for a while. The best thing about the Irish ones is they actually used their breweries to help the local areas. And there are plenty of them like, uh, was it Montucky Cold Snacks? They do a lot of stuff, uh, save the world. Some of them started the breweries just to help people, not just to donate, to actually go in out there and get groups together and help people. So I hope that keeps going. It's a nice thing. So that's just a little quick history. Uh, it's very abbreviated. There's more depth in it. Uh, it is pretty tragic, but everyone's doing good now. And with that, we learn and do better. For imported beers, one thing is before all these fancy waters and, and things like beer pretty much was your imported water. They would make it there when you had no good water, you use the local water. And once it was done brewing or being distilled or made into wine, that became drinkable. It wasn't immediately drinkable. You could still catch disease from local water sources and stuff. So that was a safe way to have drinking water. <clears throat> so basically every time you have an imported beer, whether it's from Canada, Ireland, Europe, that's imported beer, you know, it has other ingredients that make it a wonderful beer, but the first thing's the water. So it does affect its flavor. So brewing here in America, if you take it over there, it's gonna taste completely different. Sometimes they don't like it, but it's just they're used to their water, their ingredients. And we get to mix ingredients, but having the natural yeast and things here and what we use here will make it different. You can make the exact same recipe in different locations. And even if you got everything correct, it will have a slight difference just because of the natural weather, uh, the altitude of the air, humidity, all those things factor in from cooking all the way to brewing. So the Irish like a lot of lighter ones. They do have heavy winters, so they do have like Guinness and things like like They have heavy stuff, but like we're known with a Jameson, you know, uh, Tillamadu. All these ones are not super heavy uh, whiskeys. They're, they're light enough where you can enjoy them in the summer, but they're definitely strong enough. If you need a nip in the winter, it would be fine. So this is definitely a lager. Uh, Loggers and pilsners, I guess they're pretty much the same, but pilsners will get more barrel aging. So in the end, loggers log are a little faster. L's brew faster than loggers. This one looks very light. So it's not to make it a light beer. When I say light, it's like a color. This one's darker than the average lager or about the same. The body is not as heavy, but hand in hand, you can try them both. They can both feel the same. And then like the American one has less calories, you know? This one might have more calories, but it's brewed to be very enjoyable. Let's see, premium lager imported from Ireland, brewed to the classic Pilsner style. It's crafted by Guinness, German brewmasters in the 1960s. This crisp lager has a fruity uh, nose and clean finish with hints of malt and citrus. So every beer has a little bit of um, hops in it. This one is definitely more fruity. Um, it's almost like a peach. So it has more flavor than like Miller and Bud Light, but it's nice. It's a, a lot of Europeans and imported, everything from Belgium, Germany. You'll get some savory beers, but they have a lot of fruity beers that are just naturally made. Just the malt, the way they added the ingredients, the way they have the water, it just has a natural fruit. So this one for the American palate, usually bitterness is what we have and a lot of people get it and they don't like it. This one's very balanced. It has more flavor than your average lager. It sits a little heavier and very enjoyable. I can definitely have this in the springtime or when it starts to get cold right before the winter hits in, you get all those brown nails. You can enjoy this. Hmm. I say chicken or a nice steak. So with hops, you gotta be careful from pails, IPAs. They'll conflict with your food. For me, I don't always enjoy beer with food because then the bitterness becomes very um, present. And then I go to the food and my food tastes even more delicious because now I get all these fat, salt, pepper, spices, all these things. And then I go back into the beer and then the bitterness of the hops overwhelms me before I get the flavor of the hops. So not too many beers I actually enjoy having with my food, even Miller or Bud Light. Like I'm not big on those ones. If I do it, I usually do Pell's uh, wheat beer because they're just a little sweeter, fruitier. 
Um, once you eat the food, you're not gonna get as much of the bitterness because it's more malty and heavy. So it just varies, but then honestly, stouts have been really blowing up on desserts. So vanilla ice cream apparently is a thing to put in a nice stout, a boozy stout. If uh, that's your thing, go for it. I, <laughs> I see a recipe for disaster, but right here we're focusing on lager. So uh, the water uh, and the grains already make it a beautiful uh, malt and it sits almost buttery on the tongue. Just feels like, you know, like there's something there, but it's just a beautiful grain flavor, golden. It's really nice. I never had it before, so it does have a little more of that Pilsner funk, just a little bit, um, but it's not unenjoyable to me. There's a couple, I gotta, I gotta get a couple brands that I just haven't touched them, like the Park Wheels. It's okay, I can have it, but it definitely has an extra bitter funk that just sits on the back of my tongue. This one's not like that. This one has a lot more heavy flavor, but it's not overwhelmingly bitter. Slight fruit, almost like a, like a, like a deep berry uh, note, but it's in the background. And yeah, so if you want something a little more, a little more umph, just pay a little bit more, you know? This, this is your uh, Fiji water, basically. This is your imported fancy stuff. So don't feel guilty uh, getting a couple imported beers here now and again, some Canadian ones. That's what they're there for, you know, mix it up. Uh, I do believe in trying to stick to local craft, uh, you know, anything from in America. I want to do my best, but once in a while, treat yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just doing it every day all the time is bad because then the money goes to them. We need the money to be here uh, alone, amongst ourselves to keep our economy going strong. So here's for the one time enjoying yourself. But do be responsible, drink safe. Make sure you don't have anything like skillful that you need to ex execute right after having a couple of beers. I'm not saying you'll hurt yourself, but it doesn't make anything better. I like to get my job done, do what I gotta do. And then I can go have my beer and just not have to worry about anything else for the moment, at least. But until then, hopefully this is informative, gives you a little bit of uh, knowledge. Um, I don't want this to be completely, utterly dumb because I do simplify it. And it seems like not very specific or scientific. And so it might seem a little null, but I'm not trying to use specific words. I just want to help everyone who is not really understanding beer or has a beer or wants to learn a little more. Just gather a little bit more, have a little more understanding. It really helps you enjoy you know, what you're drinking and you get to talk about it and it's a better discussion. You don't always have to go on your phone and Google it. So, all right. Thank you for watching again. You have a good day.